so here we are back back again with another little geeky reviews this time we will go through let's go through Necroconda so he comes in this bigger collectible box um, there's a lot of reused parts with Necroconda uh, he does glow in the dark which is quite good though on the front he is there with Lady Slither and a couple of other couple of other snake men I suppose, Necrocondas maybe. And on the back you have got three Necrocondas there tackling He-Man on the box art. On the sides you've got another Necroconda wisping about and on the other side it's just a big old snake coming up the stairs there. But let's crack this one open, have a little closer look, see which parts they are reusing from other figures as well. So getting this guy out the box, I thought it was jet black, but it's not on a closer look. There has got that like dark emerald type of green going through it. With the actual, like you can see this cape thing going on. I know some people like the fabric type of capes. I'm not a fan. <laughs> you know, probably some of you are going to go, oh, they're better than the plastic. I like the vinyl ones a hell of a lot better. This one just kind of just hangs there. It would be better if there was like, I suppose, maybe like a wire edging. So you can twist and malleable it, but as it is, it's it's all like gathered into the back of it. And I mean, I'm not going to be a Nancy negative on it. It's still a proper cool figure. I just wish it was maybe a moulded cape rather than what we've got here. Because the hood kind of doesn't cover the whole as it would, you know, it's just... Anyway, I ain't moaning. <laughs> now looking at the actual armour on Necroconda, you can see, I think it's been well reused from quite a few other figures. So his front armour piece with the big fanged snake on the front, that surely that is Skeletor's. You've got... Necro here, definitely. That is Skeletor's chest piece. The waistband is not Skeletor's, but the actual shin guards are. I think the actual waistband is a new mould for it. The feet are Skeletor's snake armour and then he's got an arm piece here which is He-Man's snake armour because he comes with the little pincers but these also glow in the dark so that would just slot straight in there while we are looking at his accessories he comes with this glow in the dark sword which was Fangos, I believe. He's got a little tiny wavy dagger, which was Lady Slithers. Then he's got a little sword as well, which now I believe was Teela's, I think. Teela's, which came with uh, Zoar. So, again, so reusable type of stuff here. I want to try and get this cape out so his armour it's just clips on the side. Let's go through as I'm trying to get this off we'll go through the articulation it's all the same stuff with all like the modular the arms pop off the waist will pop off which I'm about to do anyway legs splay out back and forth um, bend at the knee Twist at the boot cuff, pivot on the feet. Now the head, oh, 
the head well I've popped it off this is King Hisses so just painted in the green and like that emerald black type of mixed colour but yeah King Hisses head now the cape it is just a long material type of cape with the little cuts on the bottom I don't think I'm going to use this on this guy I'm going to have another plan for this one let's just see what it's like off and put his armour back on so you can tell me what you prefer do you prefer cape on cape off I quite like it with the cape off now I know there is another uh, piece that you can attach and it is the actual snake tail of it so again we've seen this with Lady Slither but it's got that black type of jade glistening it's like a glistening it does shine but I don't know it's kind of hard to explain it's it's like one of those things where you will move it one way and then you can see the green move it another way the black comes through a bit more it is really cool how they've painted this one but you just pop them off off the waist let's see if that goes can stay on actually that little waistband I don't know if it can or not yep yeah, it can so even the waistband can actually stay on with it as well will he stand because I know Lady Slither was a bit of a night oh there you go stands pretty well let's get his little accessories back on so there's although he comes with like three plus one weapon there's nowhere to put the other two like the sword or the dagger if you're using this big massive one there's nowhere else you can store them I think I'll end up go with the little lady slithers dagger for it there as well but yeah I reckon if that is one hell of a cool figure I may end up getting more if they're still I mean they were sold out pretty quickly on the site I usually get them at so if I do see them pop up again I will probably get maybe another two or something so just to have that different style with one with the legs one with the tail now the cape I'm thinking maybe Evil In the cartoon collection Evil In because at the moment how I've got her she has got that um, cape that we got from the Dungeons and Dragons um, is it Diana the Thief or is it Sheila the Thief no, yeah Sheila the Thief it's Diana the Acrobat isn't it Sheila the Thief I've got here because she come with two capes and I was gonna paint this dark blue so but I was waiting to see what this was like so let's pop this cape off now this cape it just it's just too curly it's that type of material it does curl up on the edge it would have been so much better if it was wired but yeah now I'm just I thought it would have looked good with evil in but I'm just not liking that either I, I prefer my first choice where it was the D&D &D cape because the actual neck piece just slides over Evelyn's collar and kind of secures it perfect but yeah I'm gonna have to paint it dark but let me know your thoughts so even on the cape what do you reckon I should do but there you go Necroconda drop us those comments in the box what do you think of it are you going to get more than one 
so you can do the whole mix and match have them on display or whichever way you're going to do them drop those comments in the box and while you're there do the usual with the like subscribe tickle that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any others but thanks for checking out on this one guys and i will catch you on the next take care